You ready? Right. Be my victim. Flash, everything you have will be mine. No. Be careful walking on the sidewalk. Greetings, Fright Nights and Monster Girls. I am uh, Count Chakula from the planet Dracula and uh, representing Crypt TV here today. A true man, a presence, a legend. They say the Candyman can, but only Tony Todd can do the Candyman. Hey, what's up, everybody? How are we feeling out there? What are we watching on TV tonight? Well, apparently, uh, your performance on The Flash, oh, is, that's, is, that was a big happening, deal. Huh? Yeah, we love it. Uh, Zoom has been a revelation for me. I started work on that back in, uh, was it October, I think? No, no, maybe even September. And I thought it was only going to be two episodes, three episodes. And they just, they loved it so much, they kept writing and writing. And now, by the time the season's over, I think I've done 13 episodes, something like that. And those, and those are ones that are yet to air? We have four that are yet to air. Four. Four to take out the season. But I was just told uh, when my last recording session that, you know, don't expect to go away. The Zoom will probably be carrying over into the other DC universe. <laughs> so thank you, writers, the CW Flash writers. Thank you for creating a great art. Thank you, Teddy Sears, for being the face. And thank you, Mr. Hanley, the stuntman, who gives us all the great physicality. Yes. Now, I have uh, wanted to know a bit about how you started in acting. Uh, high school, man. And, uh, you know, I know you, you look different, but you sound like Dracula, which was actually my second stage production. Uh, I yes. didn't play Dracula, I played Van Helsing on stage in front of my peers, because I was good at talking a lot. This <laughs> Van Helsing carries the plot. Dracula's just there for the atmospherics. And, uh, you know, I caught the bug. I had a growth spurt, and so I couldn't do anything else but perform. And uh, then I decided to take it seriously. Went to a great school, Trinity Rep Conservatory, got my master's, and taught for a while, and moved to New York. The rest is history. Did a lot of theater. First film was Platoon. Now, he's taken us this far, right? He'll take us the rest of the way. And I, theater is still my first love. Do you still do theater to this day? I still have a one-man show in my back pocket called Ghost in the House about the life and times of Jack Johnson, the first African-American heavyweight champion in America. Ooh, that sounds amazing. Yeah, it's great. It's great. It's wonderful. It's a good time. It's a tour de force. Got to have those. Every actor must have something that they can pull out at any moment. Okay? Words to live by. That's it. I mean, we're on TV, folks. That's what we're doing. I hit my head pretty high, going too fast on them country roads. Worse than any punch I ever took. Eyes ain't working right. Made a mess of my brand new Lincoln Zeppelin. Lucky to come out of that alive. Telephone pole jumped out in front of me like it had feet. Where y'all come from? Well, I guess you know I'm heavyweight champion. What the hell you mean too old? With me, there wouldn't be no Joe Lewis. I was the first Jack Johnson. I took the title from little Tommy Burns day after Christmas, 1908. If it had been the day before, they probably would have canceled Christmas. That's just a mini excerpt. I've never done that before in any interview. I just wanted to give you an example. <laughs> oh, we're honored. We're honored. I'm honored. Yeah. Very, very quickly, like, obviously you played Candyman. Did I? Apparently. That's what they say. Yeah, I am yeah. told so. Yeah. This guy here that, like, has followed me around all my life. I thought I was just going to make a movie and walk away. But horror fans are rabid. And they love what they love. And all they know, some people think that's my damn name. Candyman. 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 <laughs> well, it, if, you, if you do not mind me saying, like, your presence playing that character lends a beautiful uh, operatic presence. Operatic. Yes, because I was basing it on Phantom of the Opera. That was my uh, personal little thing. So I just wanted him to be elegant and, and, and tall and, uh, and knowledgeable. What do the good know except what the bad teach them by their excesses? Allow me at least to kiss. 
So it worked. Bernard Rolls is sitting over there, who you must get an interview with, is the madman behind the film. He wrote it he based on Clyde Barker's The Forbidden, transposed it to Chicago, and the studio was opposing him. They didn't think it would work. They wanted the character to be white. And he says, well, how could, that worked he says, well. well how could he be white if he's in Cabrini Green? Okay? So, by the luck of the fates and the draws, I became one of the few African-American horror icons, which is a wonderful, it's a lonely thing, but it's a wonderful thing. And we are extremely glad to have you. Um, you know what? Horror fans are the best fans in the world because the films that they saw when they were a young age, particularly Candyman, Night Living Dead, and all the others from my beautiful horror brothers in the community, affected them for life. And that's why they're so devoted, and that's why they keep on coming, and that's why their, their enthusiasm and love of the craft is forever. How did it feel to... I'm not running for president either. I'm not trying to take your votes or take your money or kiss your damn baby. I'm just telling you the truth. Uh, abortion, what abortion? Abortion, oh, Monday I said abortion. Tuesday I said no abortion. Wednesday I said abortion, abortion. Thursday I said abortion, no abortion. I'm quasi-abortion. That's what I am. <laughs> Tony Todd, 2016, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> It may be too late. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Mr. Hey, Todd. It's been fun. It has, absolutely. One more thing. I'm oh, absolutely. Big I'm, we're currently, I just started working on a new series, TV series, for the Freeform Channel, formerly the ABC Family Channel, shooting up in Vancouver. It's called Dead of Summer. And it's by some of the writers from Lost, Alias, and Once Upon a Time. And I am creating a character. I can't really discuss it, but I'm from 1871. And on this show, we have a lake. We have college age kids, we have counselors, those damn counselors, and then you have me. So, mm. they got 10 episodes, and so the first one, besides Scream Queens, we all know how that went, uh, first, well, not the first, but one of the few horror, you know, TV shows ever done, and this one is done very, very well. Excellent. Yeah, so look for that, folks. Okay. And anybody in the L.A. area, we're going to be doing a screening of a film I did with Sidney Fury and Stan Shaw called Drive Me to Vegas and Mars. And if anybody wants to go to the screening, which is going to be in a couple weeks, contact me via screen, uh, my Twitter, at TonyTodd54, and we'll get you into the screening. Meet and greet with the stars, Q&A, all that. Okay. Is there any advice you have for uh, the watching audience. Hey guys, anybody out there that's aspiring filmmakers, just tell the truth. Write down your experiences, all you actors, be truthful. Record every moment of your life because everything will come back and something you can use later. All you directors, edit as you shoot. And, 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 and writers, write what you know, we need you. You audience members, you're already there, you're in the pocket, keep enjoying what we do. Keep watching Crip TV. Crip TV? Crip TV. Crip, I knew that. Crip TV. See, this is like Groundhog Day. You know, watching Crip TV and you'll be set. Absolutely. You heard it here. How can you argue with that? You cannot. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot. Oh, Mr. Todd, it's been an honor. Thank, Thank you. you. I hope Thank that you. works for you guys. walking on the sidewalk.